We talk about this and talk about that. Shut up, stop running out, let's talk about facts. Live a little, laugh a lot, let's have some fun. Listen to Gina, she'll tell you how it's done. Did you know? Good to know. What did you know? Well, now you know. Never know what's gonna happen on the No Filter Show. Loud and proud, funny and cool. Say what you're thinking, that's her only rule. The No Filter Show is brought to you by Boost Academy. Boost Academy is a smart school that prepares children, grades 4 through 12, for the modern world. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the No Filter Show with me, Gina Nolds. And today we have Dorian Roach from the Bahamas Olympic Committee. And Dorian, I invited him. I knew him a long time, but the Olympics coming up next year, Tokyo, and I'm trying to jump on because I want to go to the Olympics. And I think the No Filter Show should be able to go to watch what's happening and go live. Wouldn't that be so cool? I wonder if Dorian's going to let me do that. Hmm. I'm going to ask him. And then we have for, uh, for the head notes, Gina, Gina Mangucci. Let me get that name right. I always, um, that's a hard name to remember. But and so it's going to be exciting. That's her only and I'll see you the No Filter Show is proudly sponsored by Another Production, BAF Financial and Insurance, Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist, Bliss Wax Boutique, Blue Lagoon, Checkers Cafe, Dairy Queen, Live to Fish, Mesa Grill, Milo Butler and Sons, Pop Star Entertainment, Oasis Shopping, Boost Academy, Island Game. Sun Oil Limited and Quality Home Center. Hi everybody, good afternoon. My name is Mitsunori Chikawa. Welcome to Latitude Restaurant. Today we prepare a matching jalapeno tiradito. All my dishes I try to, to mix different flavors, spicy, sour, sweet, to make a haumami flavor. After put the hamachi in the plate, we need to season it with a Himalayan salt, a little pinch of black pepper. Then to have a fresh flavor, we put uh, some To make a spicy flavor, we, we put a roaster jalapeno pepper. We use a special sauce, the name is jalapeno ponzu. It's a half part of the ponzu sauce and a half part of jalapeno dressing. And finally, we put a, some topping of the fried leek in each Hamachi slices. Here we are, okay? So, this is Hamachi spicy jalapeno. Welcome.
plan the best day of your life today. Check us out at www.live2.fish or on Facebook, Instagram, and TripAdvisor. Email us at info at live2.fish. This segment is brought to you by Mesa Grill. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the No Filter Show. As promised, I have with me the Vice President of the Bahamas Olympic Committee, Dorian Roach. Welcome, Dorian. Thank you, Gina. Dorian, I'm sorry that your name is Dorian, and we're going through Dorian right now. So yeah, um, I know you're I going know. through a lot of stuff. So I don't even know what you're doing in this building right now. With well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, everyone get calls and WhatsApp. I Dorian, stay away from us. Go east. Go north. So I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best exactly. to stay away. This, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to let you know, I knew, I don't even know how long I knew Dorian. Long, long. And it is affiliated through sports. So... I always was a swimmer. We, we both were both look, swimmers. And we both look a little different than we did. A little, but I, I, I had kids. I had kids. And you had kids too? <laughs> 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 yeah, we both have a little, uh, we don't, we're not on um, swimsuit fit <laughs> anymore. <laughs> but now, um, I guess he lives through his uh, little athletes. And he says, I used to be able to do that. But I still see that you do like the little marathon the triathlons. Triathlons, yeah. I, I yeah. still try to do That's a little That's pretty impressive. That. Yeah, I, I still, can't do that. Yeah. I'll drop Dead. Yeah. Dead. I, you know, I'm not as competitive as I as I was, but I still enjoy doing it. And That's good. I figure if I don't do anything, if I don't do that, I'll sit at home on the couch and just eat chips and watch football <laughs> all day. So mm. yeah. Now, how did you get involved with the Olympic Committee? How'd that happen? Um, so there was, it was, I didn't really have any intentions of, of, of going on the Olympic Committee um, until actually like a couple years ago, my wife was actually speaking because I used to do rugby, I used to do triathlon, and my wife Jen is like, you know, I'm tired of you doing all this stuff. If you can do anything, at least maybe make do, a difference. Yeah, do do the Olympic committee. So she said that in passing one right. day. Right. And then actually, before the last election, I was approached by some people who wanted to run, and I said, well, maybe this is my opportunity now to like throw my name in the hat. Mm -hmm. I said, maybe I'll just do it. And um, so, so that's a voting process. Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, so um, so all the members of the federation who are part of the, of the Olympic Committee have, have one vote, and there's 23, I think, voting members. So, yeah, so I threw my name in the hat, and I actually, I got in. I got in with the highest votes for the, for the vice president position, so I was very surprised and happy at the same time, and um, I'm surprised really enjoying it. <laughs> so, and how long have you been doing it? So this is my second year now. Oh, it feels like you've been doing this forever. Yeah, no, it's just my second year. Uh, maybe it's just because I, because of the relationship I do have with you, maybe I'm just um, noticing You're more. You're just watching me all the yeah, time. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm uh. scoping. <laughs> but when he had a sexy body, then, then you know, it was a lot different. Oh, uh, come I'm on, get it back. Suck Jen, it in a little bit. Stop feeding him. <laughs> <laughs> so now, um, with me, you know, I watched the Olympics. Of, of course, we watched the Olympics. We're so proud. I'm a very strong patriotic Bahamian, so when it happens... And they're even in Carifta and all the other, you know, coming up events, I'm always watching what's mm -hmm. happening and, right. and, 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 and rooting. So one day, you know, we have our golden girls and our boys and all these um, shining stars, even the swimmers, the dancers, all the athletes across the country who shine. And then I said, how do they afford this? Because I know that we don't have it like the other countries who their job is to train for the Olympics, and that's what they get paid to do. They don't have to go go sit down and go work to an office and then at night go jog, go run, go do this. Correct. So how, how do you make money for that? Um, so there's there's a couple of different programs that we have. Um, the Olympic Committee itself, IOC, has some money available for basically somewhat scholarships. Um, the Ministry of Sports also has a program, a subvention program. Um, but, you know, with all that money, it's, it's enough to get by. But um, a lot of people still have to work because it's still not enough to, to get by. Um, so it's, it, it's very- It's enough for the- It's for enough you? to them to the training purposes, but for them to like basically live like a right. regular life oh. and have food. Yeah, so it, it's, you know, it's very minimum for them to be able to do that. Um, so, th so our goal is obviously to try and get these athletes developed to get to an Olympic level. Um, we get grants from the International Olympic Committee to send athletes. So we have enough money to send athletes to the games. That's not you know, normally an issue. The issue is preparing them to go to the games. So they're training, 
um, you know, having them to be able to survive so they can only train and not have to work. Right. Can you right? imagine? Like, imagine right. if, if your full-time job was just to run and to train. Right. Um, so that is our ultimate goal, to get our potential athletes in that position that they can only have to train. They don't have to work and be distracted or uh, by these other, like by jobs, like every, right. like we have to do. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So yeah. when we come back after the break, we're going to continue because I want to start. I, 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 Dory may not know how to beg like me. Y'all know I just get a beg him. So <laughs> when we come back, I'm going to give him some ideas on what I was thinking. And you may even say, oh, gee, that's work. All right. We'll be right back. Boost Educational Services presents Boost Academy, a boutique smart school that prepares children in grades 4 through 12 for the modern world. Students will be held to international standards in their core subjects while also engaging in individualized learning pathways that play to their unique strengths and interests. Boost maintains a student-staff ratio of 1 to 8 and provides after-school clubs, classes, one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and social-emotional counseling support at no additional cost. Furthermore, students will enjoy weekly PE and swimming at Evolve Functional Fitness. Stepping away from the traditional model, Boost Academy aims to prepare your child for world citizenship by tackling topics such as human rights, the Constitution, financial literacy, and entrepreneurship. If you're a parent with uncompromising standards for education and you're seeking a holistic educational program, please reach out. Find us on the web at www.boostbahamas.com or email info at boostbahamas.com. Here's to all the early morning breakfasts. To the last minute surprises and a new friend for life. The year the sparks flew and we said, I do. Here's to the biggest table on the street when family and friends come together. Milo Butler, your neighborhood store, a family tradition. Summer, take off with Shell. Spend $20 or more in fuel and enter to win. You and a friend can experience Bruno Mars live in concert in Viva Las Vegas or relax in picturesque Harbor Island for the regatta or plan an exciting vacation for four to Orlando. Fuel up at your nearest Shell service station and you can also win thousands of dollars in free gas, Bahamas Air vouchers, Super Value gift certificates, or one of many new iPhones that will be given away this summer. So hurry into your favorite Shell location and enter to win. Like us on Facebook for more chances to take off with Shell. And win today. Hey, hey, boo, what's up? Right, yeah. yeah. You still going to the event? Yeah, I ordered my dress right now. Let me go, you got Okay, good. Me too. This segment is brought to you by Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist. Hi everybody, back to No Filter Show, and we're still here with Dorian Roach, who is the Vice President of the Bahamas Olympic Committee. Dorian, so let's get back to how we're making money now. So first of all, I want to know, I, I want to help you, but I want to know how I could go to the Olympics. The Olympics next year in Tokyo. That's correct. So we need a no filter show to come. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. And are we allowed and then to come? And you can interview us while you're over yeah. there. Yeah, and, and can you imagine? Miguel would love that. Yeah. That He'd love that. Yeah. Let me tell you, Ashley, <laughs> it will make up at everybody suddenly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so make, make me look good too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So now this is my question. Can, I know that we can come because it's a, Public thing. Correct. But do you all have something to say, oh, this is Bahamians will come in so we could all sit together and we travel together as a group and we bust in the airport. We actually look like a lot of people with all our colors <laughs> and stuff. That can happen. So, yeah, so it definitely could. We have, um, what we do is if you call the office, um, Lantasha, she's our office uh, manager and she can reserve tickets. So people can call in or email and say, I want a ticket to track and field. I want a ticket to swimming. Oh. I would take it to this, and okay. then she can actually go through the Olympic organization and reserve and buy them for you. So, um, so like you have like a box, like all of us sitting together. Um, well, so yeah, so the Bahamas is assigned. Each country is assigned a certain amount of tickets that we can get. Um, so See, I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah, so and so, and do so we they can hook you up, man. Do you they up? actually have it assigned on where the Bahamas would sit? Each country would sit. That I do not know. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Dorian, get it together. Yeah, I'll, I'll try my <laughs> best. I'm, I'm slacking off. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So now. 
if we want to go or if a company wants to sponsor, right. uh, how would they do that? So um, that's actually a good question because right now we actually have one of our local companies is sponsoring one of our athletes, mm -hmm. um, Ken Mullings from the, he's a decathlete mm -hmm. and actually Coca-Cola Caribbean Bottling is actually sponsoring him. Um, so, which is awesome because they're, they're like buying his equipment, um, sponsoring his training needs. Um, so, you know, the Catholics, they need pole votes, they need shot puts, they need all kinds of equipment. Mm -hmm. You know, they do 10 events, so they need almost every equipment, piece of equipment. Um, so they, so they, are, they are sponsoring him, um, which is awesome. Um, do you all have a financial breakdown? Let's say if I was a swimmer, mm -hmm. and I'm saying swimming because that's the only thing I do. So if I was a <laughs> swimmer and I said, somebody actually did call you tomorrow. They right. saw the show and they said, you know what? I would like to sponsor an athlete. Do you actually say, can, can you know the financial breakdown to say, if you wanted to sponsor them full time, this is how much it would be. If you wanted to sponsor them for the upcoming events, the training for the qualifications and all those for the Olympic events, this is how right. much it would be. You all have that done? No, not necessarily because what we would do if someone did call us tomorrow, we would probably we would put them in touch with the, the Swimming Federation, which is now the, uh, the Bahamas Aquatics uh, Federation, because uh, they have water polo now as well. So because the Federation would take care of that, we would support the Federation, but the Federation would have the details of what meet they would need to go to, uh, when they would need to go to the each meet to qualify. Um, so we would probably run it through each Federation. Um, we're kind of like the parents, and we'll give it to the kids, hey kids, um, here's your here's your money. Here's your, you know, be responsible with right, it. Right, right, right. Bring me back the change. Right. Which you know they never do. <laughs> I was gonna say, change. <laughs> right. Uh, Nine dollars yeah, so, a gallon of milk. So the BOC is kind of like the we're like the overall. We look after everyone and make sure try to make sure everyone is taken care of. Although we let them do the details of what they need to do. So okay. we don't control what they what they do. Um, because we don't know enough about each sport and the, you know they're the experts so right. let them um, and then when it comes to, to going to the olympics right so obviously you go and let's say the president go how do you determine who goes and which coaches get to go only because i just watched a movie you know now <laughs> this is in my brain who gets to say uh -huh. you get to go down in that box right you get to go to the field so it, it's done by obviously the accreditation process and again that is done by because like if i go i can't go to the field no <laughs> I ain't going on my mark. <laughs> <laughs> we can try to get you a nice seat, though. Yeah, yeah. okay. Well, I, my mouth, I mean, <laughs> you find me. Of course. <laughs> um, yeah, so basically it's done again, uh, depending on the athletes that qualify. Then um, the federation then tells us we got this and this athlete going, and they'll tell us where coaches are going. Okay. All right, so now Miguel is now rolling yes, I and, and running I right out. Yes, I saw so the hand, yeah, so he's I was trying like, to cut okay, that off. Okay, cut it. So <laughs> thank you so much, Dorian. <laughs> and we're going to put it down to the bottom of the screen, how you get in contact with them, how you sponsor money. Listen, you can't take your money with you when you're dead. Do something good. And I think that if, especially if you were a previous athlete and you know how it was, I was just telling Dorian off air, you know, I was accepted in college. Dorian knows I was a great swimmer. I was the top, except back then, they wasn't, <laughs> you see, he's going to make me curse. <laughs> they wasn't given, uh, there was no such thing as swimming scholarships. Yes. I make it seem like I'm old, but it's true. <laughs> so I couldn't go. But now, if you want to help out, and uh, I think the Olympics is fantastic. And I know that we's going, we's represent. That's right. So Bahamas always is number one per capita in the Olympics. I think it's the last three Olympics now. So You see that? So yeah. it'll be good. And guess what? If you do sponsor, then I will shout you out for free on my show. Boop, boop. How you like that? Thanks for coming, Dorian. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Don. All right, take care. Resident Quality Home Center. You will see the savings from when you enter. Your one stop department store with so much niceness. Friendly staff, great atmosphere, low prices. They got brand name appliances, furniture, hardware, electronics, home decor, toys and apparel. Shop and save. There's no need to go away. Stay at home and save big. Stop and shop at the quality home center. Home center, spend less and live better. With Trio, you can get everything and more, like our phone. You get features like caller ID, call waiting, call forwarding, and a bunch of others like. <coughs> 
virtual number. So you can now call friends and family abroad as a local call, all for free. Just call 601-2200 and tell them that you want Trio TV, phone, internet for $99. Powered by Rev. You and us together. This segment is brought to you by Milo Butler and Sons. Hi, everybody, and we're back to the No Filter Show. As promised, it's our head no segment. And here with me today, back for season two, Gina Jenkins. Gina, Gina, welcome. How are thank you? Thank you. I'm well, and you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Thanks for coming back. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I have to. I always wonder sometimes. Some of some of you try to duck me, and some of you okay with coming. And I, I feel like I don't know. Some some of them are camera shy, as all this mouth days have. Mm, and then there's gonna be camera shy. Hmm. So, Gina, what is going on on Head Nose? Oh my goodness. Um. Top things, of course, BPL, because every night somebody be sweating. Yes. So you have the nose of the world. Yes. So it's, that's... It makes you breathe better. <sighs> yeah. So that's been a big thing. Um, of course, we are in hurricane season. So whenever we're in storm season, we're keeping our eyes out there and yes. ready to go into action. In action. And Leah's all over at the top of the page, whatever you call that picture. It's the hurricane. We know yes. where it's moving. Yes. yes, yes, exactly. I think so. she gets excited when it's actually a storm traveling. <laughs> <laughs> I think a few of us are kind of like, okay, yeah. what's going on? Yeah. So, yeah, that's always something. And, um, you know, I've just been noticing the, the part of Head Knowles that I love is the asking questions and getting advice and getting answers. And so there's been a lot more yes. of that as well. I feel like we've been, I don't want to say changing, but it is becoming more popular. It is. To ask for advice. It is. And I think it's because some people get scared to ask something. And you know how they've now changed it. Where you see when someone it says first time post. Yes. So sometimes yes. even though it's not the head notes, I leave it because I'm like, I don't want to scare them off. It's yeah. their first time actually posting. Yes. And now, even though it's like we do referrals for businesses, a lot of people are asking advice on a bunch of different things. Exactly. Um, exactly. Examples? Um, there we had a couple labor disputes yes. recently. Yes, we're suddenly um, the labor board. Yes, there's been education questions. I'm trying to think of some. Yeah, because when ones. the school starts open up, what school exactly. do you recommend? What do you you know? What about this? What about this? Where exactly. are you buying this? And it's so funny because the last. Uh, Week, I feel like saying these schools been out now for three months and people just now. Where should I go buy a geometry set? Exactly. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> School already in, and we and, and we doing this. Um, and yeah. then a lot of them who are going off to college, they ask about best visa, the the mm -hmm. student visas. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think I think that all falls on the crystal. Crystal Holder handles all that. Absolutely. She may be the only one out of us who has a kid in college now. I think it's probably. So yeah. she's the one who just who's well, been through it. I don't know if Erica uh, Lang. No, hers so are. No. Older. Yeah, hers but, are older. So oh, I don't know, yeah. but I know that it's because Crystal's just been through it. We we seem to tag her in those That's things. She's like, you're the one with the. Oh, our kids are so small. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah and um, yeah. So I really like that, and I, I like to see the differences. I love it when someone says, "No, don't go to this school." <laughs> 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 no, no, this one have drama. This one has bullying. And this, and then, you, then you feel like, well, geez, you can't go to no school. <laughs> exactly, right? Might as well keep him at home. Exactly. No, I mean, I'm a teacher and I could handle 30 other people's kids in a class, but stick me at home with mine. I know. <sighs> That's what's funny. Even, even my daughter, where I was teaching that year that she was doing her homework, she's like, no, mommy. That's not what my teacher said. Oh, I only I only have a degree. I'm sorry. I'm like, yeah, this is only what I have my master's in. But you know, don't listen to me exactly. at all. Exactly. Okay. So, yeah. um, what else on happens on head knolls? Uh, I feel like, oh, this is a question I've been asking all the admins this season. Is, you know, we are a private page, so people watching this right now, they only only know head knolls through the no filter show. Ah. They're not a part of head knolls because we have two thousand people sitting there waiting to be accepted. Yes. Do you think we should go public? <sighs> that is a whole can of worms right there. Everybody says the exact line. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I mean, between, what, is 12, 13 of us? 12. 12, yes. I mean, we are dealing with this being reported, this being reported, people still trying to advertise, people doing this and that. And I think if it was open, 
we would have to quit all of our jobs and HK would be our full-time job <laughs> just I know. maintaining that. Erica actually said and if we did, you know, if we it was so funny cuz she was like, I think everybody should just pay. So, I said and then we could quit our jobs and just mind the page. You know, that's I know, right? Know. Yeah. All yeah. we need to get businesses to sponsor and then, you know, pay 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 yeah. for advertising and we'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. So, how about I was explaining that we are a group. The group was closed. Suppose we opened up the page and the page was open. Oh. That's an idea, you know. Yeah. That's an idea. And then, because I, I, I was still working that out. Yeah. Because I told you, I said, and then I think the page allows us to do, we can do advertising on the page. Yeah. And then I think then, then we get more admins. And I really want to get some admins who always complain about us as admins. <laughs> so they could, so he, he who, 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 what is it, feels it, knows it, feels it, you know, what it feels it, knows it. Because yeah. they, they think it's easy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know, and they don't know the amount of inboxes that we get, and we're dealing with drama oh on gosh. the whole back end. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's always something. It's a really, really busy page, but we have fun doing it. Yeah, no, I, absolutely. I think it's more fun. It, it gets stressful, and then with our little WhatsApp group, we love that. Yes, so yes. So we get, we have yeah. a lot of uh, our own little drama happening, and then I love that we're 12, who's a jury, and we say, keep it, delete it, keep yeah. it, delete it, so we yeah. decide that. So that's always fun. Yeah, and it's nice to have, I think I had mentioned on the last time, just the difference of opinions. Yes. Because there might be something and I'd be like, oh, well, that doesn't need to be on there. And then you or Leah or Erica can chime in and be like, oh, well, hold up, because this could help this or this or R right. this is how I read into it. And you're like, oh, okay. That's true. I didn't even yeah. think about that. And then sometimes so. we get the poster to go in to edit it. Yes. Because they'll get slick and say, oh, you know, um, well, I went to Battery and Tire today and I got a battery. But what I was wondering is, is there somebody who could put the battery in for me? <laughs> it's like, how do you get, do you free advertise a battery and tire? You know what I mean? That, that's something you got to love. Or, you know, I went to Dairy Queen, you know. So yeah. it's really funny when they, they, they slide in that little um, quick, slick yeah. advertising yeah. and we, gotta, we, yeah. we all laugh about it because yeah. we're like, Boy, they shop. They're getting better. They're getting better, you know? But I still like the shout outs. Yes. You know, yes. like the, I had wonderful service here. But then they or get them out of that. that, too. I know. Some people are like, I don't want to hear about that the you good got <laughs> good service at John's Shoes yeah. and this. And that. I'm like, really? Yeah, exactly. Like, I need more of that in my life because. It, it, just a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, especially when you're sitting there with BPL cutting the power off and you're sweating. You need some good I, things I, exactly. to look at. To some know. good <laughs> smile. Wow. Exactly. You I'm so happy for you. Yes. Anyway, thank you so much for coming. That was thank our little head and old catch up. Yes. And I appreciate it. And I hope to see you in season three. Absolutely. All right. Good seeing you. Love you. Love you. With Trio, you can get everything and more. Like our internet. We're taking you from 50 megabits per second download speed to 75 megabits per second. We've gone from blazing to, what's a good adjective? Breakneck blistering speeds. You're getting 150% speed increase that if you got internet alone. Just call 601-2200 and tell them that you want Trio TV, phone, internet for $99. Powered by Rev. You and us together. The No Filter Show is proudly sponsored by Another Production. BAF Financial and Insurance, Battery and Tire Alignment Specialist, Bliss Wax Boutique, Blue Lagoon, Checkers Cafe, Dairy Queen, Live to Fish, Mesa Grill, Milo Butler and Sons, Pop Star Entertainment, Oasis Shopping, Boost Academy, Island Game, Sun Oil Limited, and Quality Home Center. Hi everybody, welcome back to No Filter. So this is the time when I get to say whatever I want to say. And today I want to say that I think that we as Bahamians, so I always complain that we need to learn how to drive, man. And, and, and I think it's because on my way to the studio, I always have issues with the driving. But you know, when I was in Ireland, there are traffic lights on the actual roundabout. And I was discussing off air that we don't need traffic lights, but some of the roundabouts should be traffic lights instead of roundabouts. Because what happens is, now the school's back in, I think that in the morning we realized, oh, it was so nice when school wasn't in because we were flowing a lot easier. But now what has happened is, in the mornings, everybody is coming from Carmichael, from West, to mainly go to Atlantis. So the problem is that the roundabout, right, is a roundabout, and everybody's really coming from this way, then there's a problem because it, it, it's just, 
And then the police just have to come out and just be a big headache and it just stress me right out. I, who, who is in charge of that? And who was in charge of the timing of the lights? Because as well as coming down um, Prince Charles, I often wonder that you pull up and then the light turns red to the next light. You know what I mean? And then you pull up. And it's not like you should be able to flow. Same as the street. I think that you should be able to flow for easy, mm, straight down. The light should turn green when you get to the next light, not red. Yeah. For going down the street and then the other little corner should stop. But that's my little vent for the day because... Hmm. Anyway, I hope everybody had a great day. Promotional consideration provided by Oasis Shopping and Quality Home Center.